Hi guys. <laughs> well, I've come out. With, I've been away on holiday this week. Um, not in the van, but um, I came out this morning. Um, opened the back doors, and it was all steamed up. Thought, hmm, that's like we've got a bit of water ingress. Anyway, had a good look round, and um, it appears my waste pipe's been leaking under the floor. So let me just show you. You can see that. See the board's all wet. Okay, see right round the other side. There, see? So what's been happening is that's my little uh, waste pot where the pipe, literally the, when I put it into the van, the pipe just rests in there. But what happened was, it seems that the pipe must have kinked on the outside, which caused this to fill up, which then overflowed and soaked into the rest of it. So, I've got a bit of dry and to do. <laughs> but, uh, luckily the rest of it's alright. That's not wet, that's dry. It's just, um, just this bit here. And that's pretty wet. So, I'll dry that out before we can put the cupboard back in. But yes. Oh yes, you can have a look and see what my cupboard's like from behind. There's the mesh, there's the pipe, electrics, that goes down to the gas pipe down there. That's the gas pipe that goes to the heater. That's the gas bottle. Yes. As you can see there's a hinge here. That, um, that hinge is this whole unit and that that all folds flat, so when you take it out, it's only so high, because this is in the way, you could just fold it all down flat. Or if you want to put it out in your awning, for example. So, yes. So that's today's job. Morning guys. Right. A few days have passed since um, my last water leakage. So, uh, if you can see down there. A little bit dark. Yeah, you can see down there that's all um, that's all that's dried out nicely. But there must be still damp in here because I opened up the door and if you can see that it's all still condensated. Um much warmer in here than outside. So yes. <coughs> anyway. Supposed to be heading off this weekend, so uh, going off for another little camping trip. So uh, hopefully it'll dry out once we've got the heater on in here. Um, I've also got myself a new battery today. Um, my old leisure battery has lasted probably about seven years, and <laughs> it's, it's not doing too good anymore. It's um, extremely, extremely tired. So. Uh, I thought, no, I'm going to have to bite the bullet and get another battery. So uh, we've got a new one from um, Devan Caravans, which is not far from me. And we should give it a go and see what it's like. Well, there he is. He is an 85 amp hour from Devan Caravans. So I don't know who makes them, but um, seem pretty good. Ground terminals. It says there it's whether he's charged or not, but if you can see down in there, there's a little disc. I think that's actually to do with the electrolyte rather than the actual charging rate. It says um, it, it's something to do with the way it, it floats on the electrolyte inside the battery as to whether the electrolyte's up to par or not but um, yes, yeah, so far so good right, let's pop him in cushions are a bit damp so pop him in the house See what we're doing. Oh, 
Right. <coughs> There's our little charger. Right. Just switch that off. It's got a little switch on the back here. Right. There he goes. He's off. I'm going to disconnect this. This little charger came from eBay. Uh, it's a little new Max. I did a bit of research and um, it's one of the best ones I found to be left on all the time. It was about 50, 60 quid. This one. But uh, yes, as you can see, there he is. New Max. Yeah. This little charger. Got a cooling fan as well. So pretty good. Put him in here. Oh, oh had a bit of uh, electrolyte leakage there, you see. Yeah. That's come that's come out of this. And that was something there like that. Uh -huh. it's coming out of the back there, yeah, look, see? Hmm. He's been fizzing away, but I'm afraid to say he's extremely tired now. No longer any good, I'm afraid. <coughs> so, he's got to go. Right. Now this little device, these are brilliant. I would work, definitely recommend getting one of these. This is what we call a desulfator, which basically puts a pulse into your battery while it's charging. Um, I think it's around 400 hertz or some, some of the megahertz or I don't know, some of like that. But it basically puts in a frequency into your battery which um, keeps your uh, plates clear. Stop some sulfating because usually that's why batteries tend to fade and they die because they get all uh, the plates get all junked up. So yes, works quite do work very well. And it's um, this like I say this battery is eight years old, but it, it brought it back to life short term. But it's um, it's too far gone really. That's why I had to buy a new one. <coughs> 